Hello. Um, every week I'm learning a new piece of origami and I'm bringing along a special fold to hopefully inspire you at this time. Um, origami I found a very powerful tool for well-being. It's a great way of just focusing your mind on something as small as a piece of paper but you can make something really beautiful with significance that will inspire and lift how you feel and when you're focusing on something everything else can disappear. So I thoroughly recommend it and I'm hoping I can share with you my enthusiasm for it and also consider this time with somebody else that we can we can do something special together and by giving yourself time this will will help I hope. Um, so this is very much dedicated to my colleagues who work in hospital in UCH but it's also for all key workers and for everybody else as well at home. Um, we're all in isolation and we're all so much thinking of you who are working so hard um, and during this time we just want to share our love and our support and our care and I hope that this can be something nice. So I'm also doing live folds every week, Wednesday at 2 and Friday at 8pm. So it's rather nice if you can join me live. There's something really special about knowing it's there in that moment of time with other people. Um, and that's something lovely, hopefully, to join as well. So I've learned something else new. It's again by the same origamist, Kasahara. And I've been so struck by how gorgeous the bird songs are at the moment. I don't know, I, I go for a, a daily walk if I can and keeping away from everybody. And actually it's the birds that feel as if they're my kind of friend. And just hearing the bird song is so uplifting and so beautiful. So I really like this because it's obviously it's a little baby bird and thinking of birds at the moment laying their nests, this kind of beautiful circle of life. And I like how this looks as though it might may be singing as well. So I hope you're going to enjoy this. Um, as with all the origami folds, I'm showing you from just a normal piece of A4 or it could be letter paper. Um, because this is something we all have at home. You don't need special paper for origami. You could also maybe even draw on it or add colour. That can also be quite beautiful too. So that's another option. But I think in itself, they're beautiful sculptural pieces. And they're very much found by one person who's made amazing discoveries and they've been kind enough to share it with us. So we also want to thank Kasahara for sharing this amazing discovery and we hope it will lift your mood. So I'm going to move the computer around. There's my colourful room. You can see I love lots of colour. One of my paintings as well and lots of origami. And I will direct this in just a second down onto my lap. So if you can go and get yourself a piece of A4 paper and I will grab one myself. I'm going to deliberately take my time because I think what's particularly enjoyable about origami is being very slow and careful, slowing yourself down. It's also about relaxing yourself as well. And each time you add that little fold, you're also adding a little bit of tension to make something beautiful. Um, yeah, I always find it helps lift mood and spirit. So I hope it will do the same for you too. So I'm just grabbing my board and I'm going to bring this over. So here we go. So we're going to start off with the A4 piece of paper. And as I've done every time, if you've done any with me before, we're going to start by taking our piece of paper. I'm bringing the corner over to the line there, keeping it all lined up together. There we go. And so last week it was a rabbit, which felt very appropriate. And I thought now it needs to be baby birds. I've been enjoying watching birds gathering little bits of straw, whatever they can find to make nests. There we go. So I've just simply kept that nice and lined up. With origami, it's all about being very careful, taking your time. Everyone can do that. But it's about giving yourself permission to slow down. And it will relax you by doing that too. So next, we need to get rid of this strip of paper. So I'm going to turn it over. And I'm going to fold back along that. Looks a bit like a Robin Hood's hat, I always think, at this point. There we go. And hopefully the lighting's quite good so you can see what I'm doing. You can see I'm giving good strong folds once I'm sure it's in the right position. And that will help because I'm not even going to use scissors or a guillotine. I'm just 
showing you from the real basics. So you build up confidence and learn principles. So here I'm going to do a tiny little tear there. And then hopefully a strong line, which should be able to tear well. There we go. <clears throat> so this diagonal line will already be useful. We'll take the sides and fold it to that middle line. You see, so I just took the side and I just brought it to the middle. And I always think with uh, learning an origami fold, I, I don't recommend you starting off with learning folds because it takes quite a bit of uh, quite a bit of concentration to do that and a lot of practice. But it's like a little amazing adventure. I sort of really get into each one and just appreciate every step. So I'd really recommend actually after you've made one to make another and you'll find it easier. That's really interesting how your brain is learning something new. So you've done one end. Now if you do the same thing on the other end and it will look like a, a kite. And I don't find it obvious how it all works, which is what makes it so interesting. There's an element of what feels like magic, but there's no trickery in this. It's purely brilliance and how things work is also engineering. I'm originally myself a scientist and so this is and I mix science and art this really is a beautiful beautiful mixing of the two. So it should look like this. Now I want you to turn it to the other side and we're simply going to take this corner and fold it over there. So take your piece of paper, fold it in half Hopefully you can see this reasonably well. There we go. Okay, and take your time. Be nice and exact. Go nice and slowly. It makes it so much more enjoyable as well. There we go. So next, we've got a sort of almost like a pocket there. It should look like this as well. If you take this little pocket, you can sort of open it up so yeah, I'll try and show you inside so it's like this and I'm putting my finger in and I'm squashing it down and into a straight line it's always very hard to find words to explain this and normally I'll get my hands on your piece of paper to show you but can you see so it was oh, how was it <laughs> it was like that and then I have put my finger in there and brought it all into a straight line. So hopefully it should go like that right. I'm going to use the board now and press down, trying to be accurate myself. There we go. There we go. What amazing spring it's been somehow the sunshine's been so bright and the birds have sounded so loud i don't know whether it's the less traffic means or we're just not seeing other things so we really start to notice the wildlife a lot more so i don't normally do so many animal folds but i've felt really as if nature is so important for us to feel well in ourselves so this little pocket in here again pushing it up and across like so Oh, it's a bit strange because this is all three-dimensional the screen is obviously 2d but it, actually this is how i've learned origami is from youtube videos so i'll also put a, a link from the one that i learned it from again all these things are passed from one to another but that is a beautiful thing that's about being kind right next we're going to make its little lovely little tufty tail so we're going to take this bottom corner can you see inside there there's a point where where I guess all the paper meets really. So taking this up and folding it to that point, and I'll press it down there. And doing the same on the other side. And as this is recorded, you can always kind of go back or pause. There we go. Hopefully that's worked for you. And then take the whole top point and bring them all the way over to meet those lower ones so 
this lot will end up being a head and this lot of tail with time i'm appreciating that but it's amazing it doesn't quite look like a bird yet does it but it's all there in the making that's it so our next step what's our next step is to turn over to the other side and taking this top edge pull it down to that line can you see there's already a little subtle line you can just see it in the light there and taking this down and i have to say here where i'm doing the filming i just love the light here it's my favorite area to take photos you can see why it's a really gentle light but you can also appreciate the beauty of just paper there we go so i folded it down there kept everything in straight lines and our next step is to can you see this is sticking up turn it to the other side and i want you to take this bit that's sticking up and fold it down and it should just about meet the tail this is like beak and tail coming together like so squeeze it there next we're going to make the beak so to do that i want you to fold this up but leaving a little tiny tiny little bit there again words defy me at times but this will help for making the beak can you see i've left a little tiny bit there so i folded it up with a little tiny bit and that will help to make the beak right we're we're really getting there in just a moment it will start to look like a bird believe it or not so what we're going to do next is fold it in half oh she says no i'm doing the wrong way around <laughs> there we go so sorry you can see this is the top of the head folding it down that's it hopefully yours is looking like this so it's where you've got that shape because this gives the shape of the head so folding it down next we kind of the head is very much lined up with the body and we want it to stick up a bit so it's a bit like the rabbit if you did the rabbit last week slightly let it relax and open and pull this head to i want to line up this bit of the head with the top of the body there can you see and once i've got it in place i'm then just squeezing the side like so we're really close now so you can see there's a beak but at the moment it's closed we can open that again leave it a little bit relaxed and gently gently you can separate your beak it's up to you how open you want it and again open it up and then squeeze there and it will keep it in position it's such amazing stuff paper it holds holds structures so well and our final step is to make the tail so it's sort of tucked away in there we've got two little two little bits there so take one of these and then just sort of pull it up again it's up to you what position you want to do it in so i've just pulled it up there oops or well, this variation will make it interesting so yours will be a bit different from mine so i've got one bit sticking up there and a second bit in here again this triangle you can lift it up and pull it out i guess so that they're just a little bit different from each other so that way and hopefully i hope yours looks like this look it's a little bird hmm. <laughs> i hope i hope you've enjoyed that um and as i said i'd consider that your first one maybe is a draft and it's all about being really kind and patient to yourself so if you, if you find this challenging and difficult that's a great thing and even better that you're giving yourself a chance to do that and i hope this can be a great tool to relax and to feel connected with others um, it's been amazing to see these films already uh, are, are being viewed by you know close to 150 people that's amazing all joining you in making some origami and um, i've also made a, a facebook page join the fold and you can also then share some of your pieces there. So it's just a place to be 
um, kind and positive and to give a place of well-being, which is so needed in this time. I hope it can be quite rooting to do something lovely and beautiful with paper and I hope it's lift your spirits. Thank you very much. It's been lovely to work with you. Bye bye.